The Cindy Edelman Excellence in Teaching Fellowship is an amazing and unprecedented opportunity in our community for leading educators to develop a professional learning opportunity that they create for themselves, the professional learning opportunity of their dreams. Hi, my name is Denisha Campbell and I'm a speech language pathologist for Duval County Public Schools. I remember the day that I found out about the Cindy Edelman Fellowship. I was in the break room warming up my food and I saw this poster and I must have passed at least 10 times before, but that particular day it stood out. And it stood out because it was an opportunity to support teachers, to support students, and I just knew I needed to do something. After getting vaccinated, I was overjoyed to go to Puerto Rico. Hello everyone, I've had my first day here here in Puerto Rico. It had been a year since I found out that I was a fellowship recipient and it's as if, you know, COVID happened and put a pause on everything. And so I just knew uh, I would never be able to go, but what the team really worked with me and made sure that we were going to make this thing happen. So I've learned several things as a result of this experience. One of them being that your ability to express is not indicative of your intellect, especially when we're talking about second languages. I could have been and Einstein, you know, in English, but when it comes down to Spanish, I sound like a caveman. But that does not take away anything from me. It actually enhances me in a sense. And that's what I feel about our students, you know. We just have to really acknowledge, how would I feel in these shoes? Can somebody literally pick me up, put me somewhere where I don't know the language, and I still have to master math, I still have to master reading, I still have to master social interactions, you know? So it really taught me to one, be patient, and two, really provide context. I mean, it made such a difference when I had something with a picture, with a drawing with it that was written down because, you know, reading is a little bit easier than speaking. Just making sure that we're providing environments that uplift our students instead of tearing them down. So I'm so excited for the next step. I had my time in Puerto Rico, so now that I'm back, I'm working very closely with JAXPEF to make sure that we're able to capture my experience in a series of professional development workshops to help other therapists, other teachers, other educators in general, working with culturally, linguistically diverse students. Like I said, this experience was too rich to be left on paper and even to be left just for me. I want to make sure that the information that I've gathered, that what I've learned can be spread and disseminated out to other individuals so that our students really have the best outcomes. So I'm so thankful for the opportunity. I'm so happy I got to go. And I want to, to give a big shout out to Cindy Edelman and her husband for just the opportunity to be able to go on and have an experience such as this.